Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give God the glory. Beloved, this is another day. Shall we pray to the almighty God? Our Father, Lord God Almighty, and the Holy Spirit, we thank you for another day like this. Father, let your word come forth like water to quench our thirst that we need. Your word, I pray to glorify your name this morning. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, may your name be exalted. Amen and amen. Beloved, I welcome each and every one, the listeners of Pillar of Christ that is hosting by Prophet Kenewu. May you all be blessed this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, this is another day the Lord has given us his word. Without wasting time, let us turn out, let us go to the Bible, which is John 6. And the title of my message is Everlasting Life. And I read John 6, verse 47. Let's hear the word of God. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. Valley, valley, I say unto you, he that believe on me has everlasting life. Hallelujah. Beloved, our Lord is acknowledging us to believe in him. That is everlasting life. That means we will be with him forever. That is a great assurance by our Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. May his name be praised. We give him all the glory. Everlasting life, it means salvation. For mankind to accept him as our personal savior, that will be we will be saved and cleansed and be delivered by him only. No other person, no other can do this for us. Hallelujah. This morning, I have a question. Are we all created by God as children of most Hi, are we all his children in other ways? My answer is no. Why no? Not everybody or every soul have accepted Christ our Lord as his personal savior. Some people have rejected salvation, which is freely gift given by God Almighty. Being blinded or being folded by the enemy, which is Satan or the devil. Others are seven handmade gods. They have rejected the truth or departed from the truth, which is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Beloved, let us see or read the Bible, which is Colossians 3 and the verses 2. It says, 
set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. The Bible is telling us we should set our mind on things above, not on this earth. Things above is nothing but the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Must be the center of your life in everything. Let the Holy Spirit be your guide in daily by helping you or I. Let the Holy Spirit guide you to be holy and righteous in your life or in my life. He can help us to be righteous. Things above are to worship God Almighty in daily basis, worshiping our God daily because where we are trying to go, which is heaven, they worship God daily. Hallelujah. Things on earth is temporary. It will pass away. Things on earth, it rot. Things on earth are not permanent. Things above are permanent and there, there is no teeth. Things above has permanent security. This above is all in all, which is by our Lord Jesus Christ. Things on earth, it is like a flower that we all see in summertime. They are beautiful, but within winter time, they fade away. This is earthly. Everything on earth will pass away with the exception of the word of God. Hallelujah. Beloved, only Jesus Christ has everlasting life for us. And that is why he is yesterday and today and forevermore, which is in Hebrew 13 and the verse is eight. We give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. I will sing a song to, watch, to, to praise him. And this is how my son goes. Bless the assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Heads of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washes his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praise him, my savior, all day is long. This is my story. This is my song. Praise him, my savior. Oh, there is long. Indeed, he is 
the King of Kings. Beloved, let us turn our Bible to Revelation 22 and the verse is seven. Revelation 22, seven. And I read, hallelujah. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. Behold, I am come quickly. Blessed is he who keep the word of my prophecy of this book. Hallelujah. We give God the glory and let us see Revelation 22 and the way the Revelation 22, the verse is 17. And the spirit and the bride say, come and let him who hear say, come and let him who test come, whosoever desire, let him take the water of life freely. Hallelujah. The water of life is freely given. The water of life is by Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ only. That give life and the water of life never test. It means in Christ, greater is he that is in the world. Beloved, our Lord Jesus Christ loves us. He loves souls. He doesn't want anyone to perish. That's why he described to us in Mark 9.43, I will read Mark 9.43. Beloved, this is by our Lord Jesus Christ telling us how this place, Mark 9.43, how it looks. So shall we turn our Bible to Mark? Nine forty three. Let's hear the word of God. Hallelujah. We give him all the glory. I will sing a song before I bring Mark nine forty three. We give the glory to Jesus and tell of his love and tell of his love. We give the glory to Jesus and tell of his love and for love. We give the glory to Jesus and tell of his love, and tell of his love. He give the glory to Jesus and tell of his wonderful love. Beloved, Jesus Christ is telling us why he doesn't want his children to perish. Because the other side, which is hell, is a torment. So he doesn't want any of his children to be perished. That's why he says, bless are they which do hunger and test after righteousness, for they shall be filled. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. 
So we need the water of life. Beloved, we must work out our salvation by accepting Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ, as our personal savior. Him alone has the water of life. We have to pray for one another, those who are not in the fold. That's why our God left the 99 to go and find the lost sheep to make it 100. Our Lord Jesus Christ loves so. He doesn't want any one of us to perish. Oh, beloved, we have to serve the king of kings. He needs us to be the children of him. He is a faithful God. He is a faithful master. So we have to serve our God in spirit and in truth. We have to worship him in our daily basis. We give him all the glory. We honor him this morning. May his name be glorified. We thank him for a moment like this, that we are still alive. But sooner and sooner, he is coming soon. So are we prepared to take are we prepared to go with him so that the water of life, we will drink it with him. Wherever God is telling us, let us believe it because he alone has a water of life. We thank him. We honor him, we appreciate him for his word. As we have heard his word, let us do what God is telling us and we will be saved. In his mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. I take this opportunity to bless the prophet and time prophet and his family that are saving souls and also his listeners. May you all be blessed. Prophet Kanawu, God is using him. So beloved, let us all come to the Zoom that we can pray to our God and God will help us on the platform, which is Pillar of Christ on Zoom, we meet on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Beloved, God is using his prophet. May God bless his message in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Bye-bye. <laughs>